This game will test your limits of side-scrolling sanity. This is Ghosts and Goblins on the Nintendo Entertainment System, and if there's any game to be the most likely cause of breaking your controller in a fit of rage, it might be this one. Developed by Capcom, Ghosts and Goblins was first released in arcades in 1985, and its popularity led on to a great series of games, like Ghouls and Ghosts and Gargoyles Quest. To this day, the original Ghosts and Goblins is still widely regarded as one of the most challenging video games of all time. Now this is the NES version, but it's also downloadable on Wii's Virtual Console, and the arcade version is included with the Capcom Classics Collection that came out for Xbox and PS2. So there's plenty of easy ways to find this game and take on the challenge for yourself. So you control the knight, Sir Arthur, and during a nice evening, hanging out in the graveyard with Princess Prin Prin, without any pants on, she suddenly gets kidnapped by Satan. Man, that guy is always causing trouble. So yeah, sorry Arthur, it looks like you're gonna have to put your armor back on and save her. But it might not stay on for long. If you get hit once, it's gone, and you'll be fending off the hordes of zombies and demons in your underwear. One more hit, and you're a pile of bones. Yeah, get used to that sound. This game is ruthless, with its plentiful and often unpredictable enemies. It'll take some serious patience and pure platform gaming finesse to reach the end of the six stages. And get this, after you think you've beat the final boss, you'll soon find out it was all a trap devised by Satan and you'll need to complete all six stages again at an even harder difficulty. Now that is evil. But I honestly haven't seen this firsthand. I still can't beat level two. And I'm no side-scrolling noob. And Ninja Gaiden is a cakewalk compared to this. But maybe the intense challenge that this game provides could be half the fun for you. And the other half, well, is throwing javelins at zombies. So if you're brave enough, you'll definitely enjoy revisiting this hardcore platformer. Or maybe some of you will be experiencing it for the first time. Either way, Ghosts and Goblins is definitely a challenging piece of video game history that's worth the inevitable frustration 